Hi, Tom here from Family Marine, Wilmer, Minnesota. Uh, we're going to talk about a pontoon today. Imagine that. <laughs> Uh, the boat that we're going to talk about is a Barletta. This is a model called a Cabrillo or C-Class 24, and it's a UE. Now, the U represents that it's an ultra lounge, and when we get inside, I'll show you what that's all about. And the E represents that it's an entertainer. And again, when we get inside, we'll, I'll show you what that's all about. So it's a 24-foot pontoon. It's a triple tune, so that means that it has three tubes, the center tube is a 25 inch, all the tubes for that matter are 25 inch diameter. Center tube has a ski locker, we'll take a look at that inside. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to start with the outside and then we're going to go to the inside and then we're going to talk about some pricing. Okay, so starting up in the front of the boat, you'll see that we ordered this boat in in a two-tone. Now a monotone is standard on this boat, the option is the second color. And it doesn't matter where we place these colors, there's no charge for placement. We can switch these colors around, we can have different, seven different colors available. This one we ordered in in a, in a matte black with a charcoal gray. Now the other thing that we did was we ordered in with what's called a blackout package. And that's this aluminum that's normally the normal anodized, if you turn around Corey, take a look at that bolt right behind you, there's a pontoon with anodized rails on it. As you probably know, 90% of the pontoons on the market have that type of railing. This one is anodized. So when we get the blackout package, we get four things that are anodized. We get the rails, we get the rub rail, we get the skirting, and we get the bimini top frame, are all black anodized aluminum. Okay, we have docking lights, LED docking lights up front, we have LED navigation lights, or red and green in the, in the sides. Oh, these are really nice. This is where you tie your boat bumper to, you know, your fender that hangs down to keep it between you and the dock. And what's really nice about these is you just push this little button and that little thing will pop right out. Isn't that nice? There's four of these, two on each side. So you can tie your boat bumpers to them and they easily clip in and out from that clip. Now you can just pop your boat fender out of there and store it away. We got our port side gate. As I mentioned, our bimini top frame is black anodized. Now I don't know if you know this or not, but all Barlettas come standard with a electric power bimini top. So there's a button over on the helm that we can push that button, we can lower the bimini top down, we can take the boot off, we can open the bimini top up. We can close the bimini top, we can drop it down, put the boot on. Uh, it's just, you know, electric power bimini for going in underneath your boat lift canopy is so easy to do. Going under a bridge or, or going trailering, whatever the case may be, to have just simple push button up and down, that's just a breeze, I love that. And that's standard. Most companies are getting anywhere between $1,900 and $2,700 extra for that. Now, another thing that we ordered on this boat was what are called stern stainless steel safety stanchions. That's these stainless steel rails here. Now, the reason that we do that is if we didn't have these, it would be illegal to sit in that bench seat while you're underway. The law says you have to be enclosed. Well, this makes you legal. Now, I could sit in that rear-facing bench seat as we're underway. Perfectly legal because I got my safety chains. Cool, huh? We also have a stainless steel telescopic boarding ladder. Now here's what I like about this ladder. You'll notice that its hinge points are way up high. So if you're inside the boat in the lake, it's easy to grab onto the ladder and store it away. Often what we find is the hinge point is way down here so you have to reach down here, and if you're in the boat, that's pretty hard to do. And grab hold of the ladder and swing it up. Some ladders store underneath the deck, and those are very cumbersome to deploy and stow. This one's very easy. And it's also made of stainless steel. A lot of ladders that you see out there in the market are made of aluminum. And to tell you the truth, yeah, we kind of like those because people bang those in the, into the dock. They bend them all the heck, and we get to sell them a new ladder. That's how we stay in business, right? So with this ladder, this thing is so stout, odds are you're gonna bend the dock before you bend the ladder. 
Okay? Now, as I mentioned, this is a triple tune. So part of the triple tune package are four lifting strakes. <coughs> lifting strakes are welded to the inside of the outer tubes and both sides of the center tube. And what they do is they help lift the boat up on top of the water. So if we can lift the boat up on top of the water, more lift gives us less drag. Less drag creates better performance, not only in top speed, but in fuel economy and handling and things like that. So having lifting streaks on the inside of the tubes are good to have. 150 horsepower mercury, we could go up to a 200 horse. Because this is an ultra lounge, it's going to have six stereo speakers. I'll show you the four when we get inside, but you can see two out the back of the ultra lounge. So if you're, say you're at the sandbar and you want to listen to your music and you're playing around the back of the boat, now you got a couple of nice stereo speakers out there. We also have a battery on off switch. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've forgotten and left something on in my boat and left for a day or two and come back only to find the battery is dead. So now with that battery on off switch, all I have to do is turn that switch off, walk away, and I can be assured that the next day I'm going to have a fully charged battery. Pop-up stainless steel cleats. Oh yeah, I want to point out the large swim platform on the back of this pontoon. You know, our customers are absolutely demanding this. It is such a great feature. You know, this is a great area to work to uh, get the kids in the tubes and skis, uh, uh, get your cover on, check your engine oil, uh, board and debark the boat. Uh, there's just so many reasons to have that large swim platform out the back of the pontoon. It's just absolutely wonderful. So one of the things, I, I mentioned earlier that this is a 24-foot boat. One of the things that Barletta does is they measure the tubes so this tube from here to the bow is 24 feet, but the length overall, because of the extended swim platform, is a little over 25 feet. All right? So we got a lot of pontoon here. Okay, so that kind of covers it on the outside. Let's take a look at the inside. Okay, now we're on the inside. So starting up in the bow, we've got two forward-facing chase lounges. Now, I gotta tell you, uh, we've seen other brands of pontoons out there that might only have one chase lounge and a bench on the port side. Oh, golly, what we find is our customers absolutely require two forward-facing chase lounges. So any boat that we stock, we're doing everything that we can be assured of to get two forward-facing chase lounges. The beauty of this is we can sit Two adults on this side, two adults on that side, maybe a child because that was a little bit longer. We can stretch out up here. I've got a pop-down armrest. That opens up. I've got room to relax. I can lounge out. I'm six feet tall. I've got plenty of room for lounging back. Of course, underneath all the bench seats, there's storage. And there's also a USB jack down here for charging your cell phone. There's an interior light over there, a stereo speaker there. Now, speaking of the speakers, I want to show you something. Notice how Barletta puts a cover over the backside of the stereo speaker to protect the wiring and the stereo speaker itself. Because obviously this area, you're going to load it up with gear, right? And you don't want to damage that speaker. So therefore, they put a cover over the backside of the stereo speaker. Both sides have pop-down armrests. This side has a table. Now, there is an optional pedestal table that we sometimes people want us to put right up in this area. But because this, this table here is standard, often we don't need to purchase that extra table because this is a great spot to set your hors d'oeuvres or whatever the case may be. And it works very well. It's centered in the pontoon. Now, directly behind that is what we call the entertainer portion of the pontoon. So obviously we have a table with four cup holders. We have a bench seat here that acts as a flip-flop. Notice how now we could sit two people here facing forward 
or we could set two people here facing the table. And then behind the table are two bar stools. Very nice heavy duty table. It is stout. There's no wiggle to that. It's solid in there. We've got some nice decorations, wine holders. Now we don't suggest drinking alcoholic beverages on your boat, so therefore we have non-alcoholic wine. Uh, nope, this one says 10% alcohol by volume. I think I'll take that home. That doesn't fit. <laughs> or maybe it does. <laughs> okay. Um, so, you know, what's nice about this is, golly, you got the kids, um, you want to feed them snacks, you want to feed them lunch or dinner, you're entertaining guests, you've got a nice place to serve your hors d'oeuvres, you're playing cards, um, it's just a really great entertainment area. Makes sense? It's just, people love these things. And then over here, we also have another little area, maybe you want to prepare your hors d'oeuvres over there. We've got a trash can in here, okay? So that's what the E represents in the model number, the entertainer. The U represents the ultra lounge. What is an ultra lounge? This is an ultra lounge. This is an extremely functional uh, uh, a deck, bed, whatever you want to call it, that people absolutely love. Now, right now, let me show you how this works. Right now, we've got a great stern-facing bench seat. So, you know, the kids are out tubing or skiing or whatever. This is a great place, or you're at the sandbar. Uh, this is a great place to hang out. You can watch the kids tube. You can chat with your friends at the sandbar. It's just a, uh, it's a really cool area. We can also flip this towards the stern. Now we have a forward-facing chase lounge for a couple of adults to lay out. Okay, that's pretty cool. What we can also do is with one hand, flip that down, and now we got a nice size bed to lay on for sun tanning. If I want, what I can do is flip this out. That one does the same thing. And I have a stern facing chase lounge. Again, kids are out tubing, friends are at the sandbar hanging out. I got a nice place to lounge and relax. As I said, both of these flip up and down. The other thing that I can do is I can flip this one up. That one does the same thing. Now I have a forward facing bench seat. And what I can also do is, for example, put that one there. Now I can have two adults facing the stern. I can have two adults facing the front. Two here, two there, four up front, and the driver. I got a lot of seating in this pontoon. There's a lot of room for people in here. You don't have to leave anybody at home. Okay, so pricing. Um, now, actually, this is a, a brand new 2021, okay? So the 2022s, oh yeah, they're, they're a lot more expensive. They've had a significant price increase since we purchased this 2021. Um, so this boat, with 150 horsepower mercury. Um, the MSRP is 87,770. Now, your MSRP may be different depending on the location of the dealership that you're buying it from. Uh, the manufacturer's MSRP does not include freight and prep, okay? Um, freight is obviously going to change depending on how far away from Bristol uh, Indiana you are and how much freight the dealer is going to pay. The other thing is um, what most bar dealers do, not all, but a lot of them, what they'll do is they'll buy the motor from the boat manufacturing company installed on the boat. They'll pay the boat manufacturing company to install the motor on the boat and then that way when they get the boat to the dealership the only thing they have left to do is to put the battery in and put gas in, clean it and test it. We're a little bit different than that. What we do is we buy the boat with a motor, but the motor's not installed. The motor comes to us in a crate. We park the crate out back, and depending on what motor you want, we will put that motor on, okay? So this thing has a 150 on it. Let's say you wanted a 200. Yep, we can do that. Um, so this boat with a 150, being that it's a 2021, we're clearing it out for under 60,000. And this same boat, new for 2022, 
uh, golly, it, it's, it's going to be over 70. I don't have the exact numbers off the top of my head, but it's going to be over 70. So this is a really special buy. You can get a 200 on here. So um, if you're interested in this particular boat, feel free to give us a call. Our phone number is area code 320-222-BOAT. <laughs> I like that, 222-BOAT. Uh, or 222-2628. Um, you can see us at our website, which is www.familymarineboats.com. That's boats with a plural, Family Marine Boats. And you can also see us on YouTube. If you go to YouTube tube in the search bar, type in Family Marine Wilmer, you'll see our icon, click on our icon, and that'll bring you to, oh, gee, about 100 or so videos that we have on our YouTube channel. And you can learn about all the boats that we have in stock. So... I appreciate you taking the time to watch. I know I get a little lengthy here, but I like to give people as much information as I can. Thanks again, and have a happy life on the water.